It's the second week of Hanukkah, the festival of lights that is celebrated for eight days in the Jewish faith. Many commemorate the rededication of the Holy Temple by gathering in congregations and reciting prayers. The holiday comes to an end on Monday night. A New Jersey man was told that he had six months or less to live, but then a team of heart specialists at Hackensack Meridian Jersey Shore Medical joined forces to save his life. Jersey Matters' Jennifer Marin has more on this medical miracle. Larry, 63-year-old Michael Riley was suffering from advanced heart failure. But thanks to a team of cardiologists here at Jersey Shore University Medical Center, he and his family were given the ultimate gift this holiday season. Michael Riley is no stranger to heart disease. I've often said that there is uh, one part of my little finger that's healthy. At 63 years old, he's already had almost three heart attacks. And in the last few months, his heart failure took a turn for the worse. This was just different. I mean, when I went into the hospital, I, I was, it was, it, it was so painful. I couldn't think straight. Doctors gave Michael six months or less to live. He has four sons and his wife of 40 years says the news was devastating. It was awful. And um, it wasn't just the pain that was awful to see, but how depressed he was becoming and how he was feeling just that life was kind of slipping away from him. Until he met a group of cardiologists at Jersey Shore University Medical Center. When Michael presented, he was in a, a very advanced heart failure. Dr. Deepak Singh is the surgical director of the Advanced Heart Failure Program at the hospital. Both he and fellow Jersey Shore cardiologist Dr. Yunin joined forces determined to save Michael's life. He's had multiple blockages in the past and associated multiple heart attacks. And, uh, and stents, and the net result being that his heart was very weakened by this, this stent. So he just, it was a pure mechanical issue, so his heart just could not squeeze well. Both doctors agreed that another stent, which is a tiny tube inserted into a blocked passageway to keep it open, would be a good idea. Thanks to a temporary assist device, the stent was placed successfully. And although it did help his organs recover, it was only a temporary solution. And that's when we made the decision to go ahead and proceed with a permanent type of uh, assist device that we call the left ventricular assist device that we implanted in Michael to get him out of heart, heart failure and just have a much better quality of life. Michael, who without the surgeries would not have made it to this holiday season, says the only way to describe how he feels is by quoting a favorite song. Paul Simon had a line in one of his songs. These are the days of miracle and wonder. And with Dr. Singh and uh, all of that team, I, I know that I'm living in the days of miracle and wonder, that they actually have some ways to fix literally a broken heart. The cardiology team at Jersey Shore hopes Michael can enjoy this new lease on life. My hope is that he goes back to enjoying all the things that he wants to do and not be uh, encumbered by being short of breath or feeling that suffocating feeling or just feeling wiped out and tired and not wanting to get out of bed. According to the CDC, about 6.2 million adults in the United States are dealing with heart failure. Now, cardiologists here at Jersey Shore do tell me that the technology used to help save Michael's life, such as LVADs, are constantly improving, which is hopeful news for other patients dealing with heart disease. For now, reporting in Neptune for Jersey Matters, I'm Jennifer Marin.